Buck did this. This guy drew this, and another guy. So he he drew that, and uh, the, the guy that came recreated the process. To the, interviewed all these. Slow, yes, he slow, did. Oh, interviewed all these slow people. Who yes, then, he did. Who then drew the drawings? Right, and now just recently, the last of them, the people that that worked with us. They're gone. They just died off. And uh, and then I, you know, as I look through all this, you can tell that if you don't have a, if you don't keep a model of your work and a sample of something somewhere that's that's put away. Well, you'll never be able to reconstruct exactly the way that it was done. So, so how did you get hold of this job? I had a friend who was tired of trying to work mm -hmm. on it. And basically he ran out of people to go talk to. But, you know, he says, well, John, he says, you've done a lot of things with switching. You might be able to figure it out. And no hurry, you know, but I can tell you these days it's probably worth looking into it except that the generators are getting harder and harder to find and it, it was mechanical so but they could retool that kind of they, they could retool this and I'm sure somebody's already done it somewhere right and I'm sure that in Germany they had plenty of these machines but where they went to nobody knows we didn't know the exact person in but, Germany that he got it. But this from. was found in, in some German's house. Yes. Running. Yes. So it was the guy. When they captured the device. Yeah. So I mean, the guy could have been working on a project somewhere. This was maybe a throwaway from the from the real project. Well, it could have been. I mean, you know, it, it, it presumably would be scalable. Well, Adolf Hitler had. You know. He was working on every device known, you know, and they didn't, and at that time, they, they didn't really have a lot of fuel. And I'm sure that they were under national security to keep the lights to a minimum, don't draw any power, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, same as Britain was. Right, and, 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 and this would be something that would give you 300 watts worth of lights. Well, let me tell you something. If you're out in the pitch black, 300 watts where the light's pretty bright. Yeah. Especially if you're looking yonder down some field somewhere. But the point was it would run uh, three or four of these uh, seal beam car headlights, right? With no problem at all. Up to 300 watts. And I think they're 65 watts a piece. So basically there you have it. That's what we know about Lockridge. Hmm. And right here is the end of the trail. Right, <laughs> exactly. And the guy who gave you the motor gave you the book as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Gave yeah. He, he yeah he gave me the whole box, handed it to me in a box just like this. <laughs> in fact, this is the way he handed it to me. Is this was. Just like you see it here. In fact, I'm going to put it back in the same box. But this is the way he just handed it to me. Just like that. Okay. And said, have at it. <laughs> and so you figure, you figure that the, the, the missing, the missing piece in, in, in the puzzle was that when they were trying to recreate it, nobody understood. understood well, the, what, the what it was is he, had, he hired everybody in town that was very slow in learning. All the mentally challenged. Yes, all the mentally challenged because he knew if he gave them a job, they'd work for basically nothing, right? right? And that they would only do that one job and they, they never would go to the local bar or anything and have a discussion about what they were working on. Right. So, 
And they actually quite satisfied doing Oh, yeah, they were yeah. satisfied doing what they were doing because the people were quite satisfied that bought the machines. Yeah, but, the, but just to, to clarify,